Discard in Cornwall. Although China clay traffic on the Wenford Bridge branch is no more, Cornish branches are still very much alive with China clay traffic, worked by the almost universal Canadian-built Class 66 from General Motors. The FOI traffic provides work for up to four Class 66s at any one time, although efforts were being made in summer 2001 to run the service more economically using fewer locomotives. Rock's China Clay Works is one of the busiest rail loading points. Rock's sidings diverge from the Newquay branch at Goonbarrow Junction, another location still controlled by lower quadrant semaphores. There are generally one or two trains from Rock's to Foy each weekday plus one on Saturdays, although the actual timings are difficult to predict from one day to the next. The incoming empties arrive either from the EWS yard at St. Blasey or directly from Foy Harbour. The CDA wagon fleet consists of the original build of 124 vehicles introduced in 1988, plus 15 later conversions from HAA coal hoppers. When first built, the CDAs were unusual in being railway owned. Throughout the 1980s, the norm was for British Rail's customers, other than coal and steel, to provide their own rolling stock. The visual similarity between the CDA wagon and the highly successful merry-go-round coal hopper is striking. The only significant difference is the roller shutter roof, which prevents the fine china clay powder from escaping. Cornwall isn't often thought of as an industrial county, but china clay is Britain's number one export in terms of minerals and most of it is mined here in Cornwall. Imeris is by far the largest producer, with half a dozen sites, mainly around St Austell. Before it can be loaded into rail wagons, the clay for export through Foy is dried to reduce its moisture content to between 1 and 2 percent. The rail traffic at Rocks is substantial enough for Imeris to station one of its own pilot locomotives here, hauling and propelling wagons as required between the loading terminal and the exchange siding. summer 2001, the duty fell to this venerable ex-British Rail Class 08. Goonbarrow Junction is the only passing loop on the 20-mile Newquay branch. 
Not that the sparse Wales and West passenger service needs a passing loop at all. The only reason for a rail track presence here is the China clay. The loaded train from Rocks normally runs direct to Foy, a journey that's scheduled to take just over one hour, including an allowance of 20 minutes to run round at Lost with Eel. The takeover by the Class 66s on China clay traffic was almost as sudden as the introduction of the CDA wagons ten years earlier. The standard motive power from the early 80s onwards had been a small fleet of Class 37s. Class 66s have doubtless brought improved efficiencies, just as they have on many freight flows around the country. But is that enough to keep Cornwall's white gold on the railway? Rumour in summer 2001 suggested, and not for the first time in recent years, that Imeris was reviewing its transport requirements. Ominous words for the future of this staple rail business that we tend to take for granted. The branch to Foy itself offers some of the most memorable train in landscape scenes in Cornwall. The single track winding its way along the waterside from just outside Lost with Eel all the way to the harbour terminal, a distance of about four miles. Doubtless, the railway here was seen as a noisy intrusion when it arrived in the mid-19th century. But today, it seems to add a special quality to this relatively quiet corner of Cornwall, well away from the main holiday and tourist centres and their associated summertime traffic jams. Effectively, China Clay has been the only traffic on the Foy branch since passenger services finished in the 1960s. The tonnage of clay moved through Foy rose steadily after the introduction of the CDAs and peaked at nearly 900,000 tonnes in 1998. Today, it's around the 700,000 tons mark.